Well, boys and girls, it is going down right now in the Battlefront community with the whole Droidica situation, so of course I'm going to make a video on it. Now, if you somehow don't know what I'm talking about here, this is the image we got for the Elite Core update the other day, and there is quite clearly a Droidica scene in the image. Now this is after multiple teases we've had already about Droidica's one day coming to the game. When everybody saw this, what did we think? We obviously thought it was a Droidica, you see a Droidica in an image, and we thought it was a Droidica. It's like seeing a picture of Obi-Wan. Wait wait, wrong picture. Where was I? It's like seeing a picture of Obi-Wan, and then claiming it's not Obi-Wan. I just don't understand it's a Droidica, we all thought it was Droidica's, and then Ben Watt came out and said it's not a Droidica. My mind right now is completely fried. But now Ben has come out with a full statement on the matter, and people are hating on him for this, and I will say he doesn't deserve it personally. At the end of the day, he's the community manager, and it's the guy or girl who was responsible for putting this image together and putting the drug in the image. They're to blame, really, not Ben. But this is what Ben said, just wanted to drop a few lines to clear some things up regarding the screenshot that was released and has dominated the discussion this week. When we first started to see mentions of Droidica, the instant answer from us was no, which at the time we believed to be 100% correct. This is because we currently have no active plans for a Droidica, nor do we have any assets within our active development version of the game. While we saw the similarities, we believed it could have been a crashed speeder or environmental clutter. This is why we came out and said that it wasn't. We wanted to react quick and to communicate, but more importantly, we didn't want you to think something was coming that wasn't. This is why we confirmed that it wasn't one. Because we have the ability to reload the scene, think of it like opening a save point in a level, a screenshot was created in. We did some additional investigation, it was during this investigation that we found an old, unused and partially built asset of a droidica. The asset itself is nothing more than a static model, it has zero integration into the game, meaning it is currently missing rigging, animation, VFX, audio abilities, UI and more. While the screenshot was created recently, it was done so in a version of the game that contained some unused assets. Moving forward, we will be taking steps to ensure this does not happen again. During development, multiple assets and ideas are explored, and while some do not make it into the final game, others do not. So basically guys, what was in the screenshot was just a droidico with no movements, no voice lines, nothing like that. It was just static, it stood there and did nothing, basically to enhance the screenshot in some way I'm thinking. It's like an action figure for example, if you just stand it there, it's not going to do anything unless you move it around yourself, and that's the same with this droidica, it's not going to do anything unless it's given the animations. How this made it into the screenshots, I don't know. Yes, it took the community a while to find the Droidica, and if it was left up to me, I personally would have never have found it. It's just like making a screenshot for the new Clone Wars season, and putting a hero in there who isn't confirmed to be coming to the game, like Ahsoka for example. It would be so misleading. It doesn't help that Dennis himself has teased Droidicas multiple times already, and then we finally see one. What do we all think? We think Droidicas are coming to the game, like I said earlier. You see a Droidica, you're not going to think it's something else. Remember how happy I was on my video the other day about the new Elite Core update? Well, the Droidica was one of the reasons for that. There's a lot of good things coming in this update. For example, the Clone Wars playlist, the two new skins, but I honestly thought Droidicas were coming in Season 3, and now we've been told they're not. So goodbye the Sentinel class, I suppose, which also has the Rebel pilots in it and the Art Troopers as well. Are we ever going to see that? Maybe one day? But for now, it doesn't look like it's coming in Season 3. Very disappointing, I have to say. And I have to talk about this, guys. I have to express my anger with you all. I know it's another negative video, and I know videos like this take over in the Battlefront community. They blow up, they get a lot of views. But that's not the reason I do it. There's basically nothing else to talk about. When we get news, it's usually negative. And positive or negative, I'm going to cover it on this channel. If we had good news to dominate the community, the negative news wouldn't get any attention. It's the fact that this is the vast majority of videos right now. Negativity because there's nothing else to talk about. We always have to talk about each slap in the face we get from EA and DICE, and this is just another one to add to a fine collection indeed. Thank you so much for watching guys, I'm sorry it's a negative video, but I've got a more positive one coming up next, so please look forward to that if you can. Thank you for watching, 
I'll see you all next time.